Clear path operational mode 4. Move incremental distance. Move incremental distance is the mode to use when you need to position to many locations that are integer multiples of each other, like with indexing tables. Let's connect ClearPath to the MSP software and take a look at how to set things up. In this mode, you use the A and B inputs to select one of four predetermined move increments, and then you apply a short trigger pulse on the Enable input to signal ClearPath to move the selected distance from its current location. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to set the A and B inputs using a rotary switch, and I'll pulse the enable to trigger moves using a function generator. Most people for this mode use programmable digital outputs, like from a PLC. Most applications travel bidirectionally, and in these cases you'll want to enter both positive and negative increments, one relatively small value and one larger value for each direction. You'll see why in a moment. Next, configure clear path with your desired motion parameters, velocity limit, acceleration rate, and RAS, Technic's automatic jerk and jerk derivative limiting feature, which makes for very smooth motion transitions. To make a move, you first select a distance increment using a combination of the A and B inputs. As you can see from the LEDs, I've selected the second increment. Now, when I pulse the enable line with the function generator, the axis will move the selected distance. If I give clear path 10 pulses, I get 10 moves. What's cool about the way clear path works in this mode is that if I send the pulses at a higher frequency so that each pulse is sent before the move starts ramping down in speed, I will get one long continuous move. This feature allows for a great amount of flexibility. You can see how with a simple program and four distance increments, you can create some pretty sophisticated move sequences. If you have a positioning application with no more than four target positions, take a look at the four position move to absolute position mode. If you need a very large or continuously variable number of possible positions, check out pulse burst positioning. Or if you have a step and direction indexer, you can get all the flexibility your indexer provides with a clear path SD model.